Hello and welcome back to The Wargamer and another painting tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how you can add some extra details to your ships from Cruel Seas by Warlord Games. As usual for this tutorial, I'll be using the Army Painter range of paint. To paint the various identifying marks onto your ship, you can use the slightly off-white spaceship exterior. As it's not quite as light as pure white, it will appear much more realistic once applied. However, for this Italian Gabbiano, I'll be using Vampire Red instead. To apply the markings, first mix in a little water with your paint, as a more fluid paint will be much easier to get a thin line with. We'll be painting our numbers much like a digital display, so using a thin brush, paint a top and bottom horizontal line for each number that has them. This ensures that each number is aligned and is the same size. Then you can fill in any remaining horizontal lines before painting in the vertical lines afterwards to complete the number. Salt water will quickly corrode metal, so it's common to see rust stains on ships that are not properly painted. To represent the areas of rust, we'll be using a wash of strong tone. Use a down motion when painting the strong tone ink onto the surface to create the effect that water has built up over time. You'll want to focus your rust stains below details such as portholes or sills, essentially anywhere that water is likely to accumulate. Over time, paint is likely to become chipped and damaged, especially in combat situations. These effects can be easily achieved using a small piece of sponge or foam dipped into some paint. Remove any excess paint onto a tissue or piece of paper before application. Lightly dab the foam onto the ship's surface anywhere that damage is likely to occur. This will create small groupings of flecks of various sizes and shapes, which will simulate the paint being removed and exposing the bare metal paint or rust below. The paint you use will depend on the surface or effect you're looking for. For example, on lighter colored hulls, use a uniform gray, or dark colors such as this one, use necromancer cloak. And to create the effect of rust, use chaotic red. And here we have the completed weathering and markings on our ship. Whilst I focus on the Italian Gabbiano for this video, you could easily apply the same techniques to any other Cruel Seas ships that you may have. You can find a full list of all the paints that I've used in this tutorial in the description below, along with any other equipment that I've used to create this video, such as my Everlasting Wet Palette. If you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments below, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support me in making these videos. If you have any questions or just like to chat with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server which you can find a link to in the description below. So the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching, and goodbye.